What I read in the history of Iranian Jews, referring to the category of Zionism, again, I read it in the context of Iranian history and the Iranian society and all the other projects that simultaneously took part in their lives. And what I see is that, for example, the immigration of Iranian Jews from 1948 to 1953, which was the first major wave of immigration of Jews, there were about 20,000 Jews immigrating to Israel. And one of the things that I consider is, can we find what do they have in common? And you see that these are based on reports from Israel, from the Jewish agency, from Iranian sources. These were the poorest and the neediest of the Iranian Jewish communities. Okay, so we can find, on top of the Zionist argument, we can find social, economic reasons for them to immigrate. Then we can talk about the, the second wave of immigration out of Iran after the 1979 revolution. And we see that 70% of the community, this is a major tragedy, this is a major blow to the project of Iranian Jewish life. And we see that 70% of the community chose to live in the decade after the revolution. And then we can assume that it happened because there were Jews. But also uh, what I ask is, can we see it in, you know, as, as a class thing? So we see that in these years, there are millions of Iranian immigrants moving out of Iran. They were all members of the middle class and upper middle class, just like the Jews were. And they moved to places like Los Angeles, for example. And Iranian Jews in this time chose to leave to Los Angeles and not to Israel. Again, I want to read it within the context of the Iranian society. They chose to leave to places where other Iranians of the same class moved to. So this is how I'm trying to challenge Zionist historiography as well as Jewish or the Lacrimos historiography and so on.